How's it going you guys? My name is William and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I planned on talking about my cryptocurrency um, wallet and balance, but as you can see my portfolio balance is currently zero uh, and it's zero for a reason. Uh, so just yesterday I had about $2,100 into it, uh, but I decided to sell my Ethereum and Bitcoin. I had about a thousand dollars or so in each, um, but I decided to sell it. Uh, I thought it would be more beneficial to just invest it into my Robinhood portfolio. And so today, that's really what we're going to talk about is uh, my Robinhood portfolio again and how I ended off the week. Um, so as you can see here, a lot of my stocks uh, for Friday were green, a couple red, um, Hormel and AMC were red, uh, but compared to last week, I'm up $115, which is pretty, that's a pretty good week. Um, and for the month, I'm up pr pretty high as well, $200, so that's pretty good. So I, if you look at my one year chart, I was having kind of like a bad downturn, but now it's starting to go back up again. So anyways, um, I did sell my Ethereum and Bitcoin, uh, and I put it into my Robinhood. So if you saw one of my last videos, you can see that my balance is now up by a thousand. So I got the instant instant one thousand dollar deposit. I'm waiting on the other thousand. And the whole reason why I did this was because I wanted to do something with AMC. Uh, now I'm not a financial advisor. I don't. I expect you guys to follow me. I don't want you guys to follow what I'm doing. Uh, this is just telling you guys what I'm doing. Um, so I'm actually trading some AMC options or am trying to. I put in this call option a little too late last uh, year yesterday. I tr put it in after hours so it didn't get filled. But basically, um, I'm a big believer in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, they're going to be huge, I would imagine, in a couple of years. They're going to be everywhere. Um, everybody's going to accept them. Um, everybody's going to use them. Everybody's going to know what it is. But for the moment, I wanted to capitalize on AMC. Uh, now, a couple months ago, I know um, AMC and GameStop, they've been on everybody's watch list. Um, with GameStop, it's skyrocketed, and then it comes back down, with the uh, short selling by the hedge funds. Uh, and a lot of people talk about how AMC is going to go up too. And I'm not such a big believer that AMC is going to blow up like GameStop did. But if you look at AMC's charts, um, let's say just in the past year, um, it did spike up to $19. Um, it was really low but if you look at the five-year chart it has been going down since about you know 2017 or so um, but even if you compare it to even if you do compare it to 2017 terms we are on a downhill trend and it is undervalued still um, so for today it's only about worth ten dollars but it's a bit undervalued right um, it was about $30 back in 2016. It's been going down. Um, still been going down, even with nothing in the world happening. And then the pandemic hit, and it really took a downfall back in 2020. So even if we talk about numbers before the pandemic, it was about $10, 10 to $15. Um, and so right now, I do think the AMC is a little undervalued maybe not by a lot but it's definitely undervalued um, so you mix in undervalue with a lot of speculation on shorting amc and you get really high implied volatility for options um, i typically don't buy uh, calls or puts i like to try to sell calls or puts and run the wheel strategy so we should actually be able to see my option right here so i did a nine dollar put that expires on april 1st and i got 27 dollars in premium 
had to put up about $900 for collateral, but I earned $27. Uh, my I only have, you know, $18 or $20 into AMC, so not even all that much, not even two shares. The average cost is $11. Uh, I would like to obviously bring that average cost down if I'm going to invest into AMC uh, heavily. And that's why I decided to start selling puts. I don't really want to buy um, AMC when it's $10. I think that's a little too high right now. Um, and I don't want my I want my average cost to be lower than $10 if at all possible. So I decided to sell a put. Um, and selling puts are a really good way to make money. Basically, you have the strike price, so $9. You have these prices over here. Of 27 cents and basically if the stock goes below nine dollars on or before April 1st somebody has the right to exercise the option whoever bought my option or wherever it ends up uh, they have the right to exercise this option forcing me to spend my nine hundred dollars in collateral to buy AMC at nine dollars no matter the price if it is below nine dollars nine dollars or below um so there's a chance that i could be owning 100 shares of amc because contracts are in terms of 100 that's why i got 27 dollars in collateral for this one uh it's 27 cents um, times 100 shares because each contract is 100 dollars um, but if I bought AMC at $9, even if it was trading at, you know, 7 6 maybe even $8, I would be fine with that. Um, my average cost right now is higher than what it's trading for. Um, so my thought is, if I do want to get my average cost down, and that's going to help bring it down. Um, that way when uh, AMC does go back to kind of like normal opening all their businesses and start making money again, um, hopefully AMC then will be trading about $15 or so. Uh, we'll just have to see how everything goes with the pandemic and whatnot. Um, but I do plan, uh, I'm waiting on my other deposit from Robinhood. They only give you a thousand dollar instant deposit and then you have to wait for your money to actually fully move over into Robinhood to have access to the rest of the funds. Unless you have, I believe like a certain amount. I don't know what that amount is. Uh, you have to have a certain amount invested or in cash on Robinhood and then you get free instant deposits or you could buy Robinhood gold to get bigger instant deposits, but I'm not going to do that. But so if I, as soon as my other $1,000 hits, because I transferred all my um, crypto, I sold it and I'm putting it into investing. So as soon as that does that, um, so for now I just bought this $9 call, but I would also probably do buy an $8.50 call. That way if, um, so I'll collect less premium, um, uh, but I'll end up buying at less if AMC happens to go down to say $7. So I don't buy just 200 shares at $9, I buy 100 at $9 and then 100 at $8.50. Um, I have to put up less collateral, but... Like I said, even if AMC does go down to like seven dollars, um, my average cost isn't wouldn't just be nine dollars. It'd be the average between uh, nine dollars and eight dollars and fifty cents, which would be like eight seventy five or so. Um, so it would help me still gain money when AMC does bounce back up. If it does dip, I won't have to climb to $9, I'll just have to climb to $8.75 or whatever it is um, in order to start making money. Uh, so that's what I'm planning to do for this next week. Uh, starting Monday, the 29th. Um, obviously, once I get paid as well, I'll be putting even more into it and I'll use that to buy some more shares, probably some or at t um, But right now I do have a $127 buying power, but I'm saving that buying power for if AMC does happen to go up to say $11, then I'll have to put more dollar, more amount in collateral just to sell puts. 
Um, so for now, that's all that's happening for me. Um, made some money this week, but $100 is pretty good. Um, and if you guys want to sign up with Robinhood, I like Robinhood. It's very simple to use. It's very easy. It's not messy. Everything's pretty straightforward on how to like buy things. You can buy in shares and dollars. Everything just makes sense to me on Robinhood. Um, I know other brokerages, they offer more benefits um, and more useful things, but I just like the simplicity of Robinhood. It's honestly just easy to read, easy to use, easy to navigate. If you signed up with the link below, you can get a stock valued between $3 and $225. Uh, every time you sign up with my link, I also get a free share or two, and so do you. Um, so if you wanted to get into investing without actually putting any of your own money down, all you have to do is link your bank account. You don't actually have to deposit, just link your bank account and you can get a free stock and you can see what happens in the coming weeks or months with that stock to, so that you kind of get like a feel for how stocks work, um, what they do, how bad of a downturn they can have sometimes, how good of an upturn they can have sometimes. Um, it, that's what I did when I first started investing. It really helped me out. Um, realize, you know, if I really wanted to do this, how, where I could see the potential and whatnot. So yeah, if you want to start investing or just trying to save up some money, go ahead and click the link down below and sign up for Robinhood and connect your bank account and you'll get a, a free stock.